and that is Mr. Joe Pekaski. I'm not Australian, I'm from New Zealand. She doesn't have 
It's like acting. Uh, that's so amazing. Uh, Aubrey. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, tell me how you, you, what do you think is different in season two for you as an actor? Um, to me, the, the biggest difference between season one and season two, I think, we all know, I, I think most of the people in here have watched season one, right? <laughs> and so, a lot of us know that season one was more of a slow burn, and it was really to get to know who Ty and Tandy were as individuals, and you know, their deepest fears and all their hopes. And now, you know, they're basically coming to the moment where they're, you know, embracing the powers that they have and, you know, kind of embracing the fact that they're going to be a team and that there's a city that needs saving and why not us? Thank you, 
on the world premiere. No one has seen this before. No one will see it afterwards until April the 4th. We are talking about the first episode of season two. Uh, Before we go on, there is one question I did want to get a chance to ask, and that is, Joe, you had an opportunity to uh, add to your uh, extraordinary resume this year, and you got to uh, direct. What was that like? Oh, it was scary as hell. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was fun. I love working with these guys, and I feel like I don't get to tell them what to do enough, so I thought for <laughs> one episode, I got to have, I got to have Emma not talking again. Aubrey doing stunts in 20 minutes that should take three days, and then Olivia being put through the ringer. Uh, episode 7 was a lot of fun, and these guys had my back, so I'm excited for everyone to see it. Uh, and for you guys, what was it like for Joe to be a director? Now you get to tell him. I think I'm going to have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Joe is such a genius. I mean, you guys just saw what you just saw, right? I mean, round of applause for this guy. Joe is the real superhuman at this point. Exactly. Exactly. So for him to, you know, take full charge of kind of this baby that we've brought to a season two was, it was kind of cool to, to sit back and watch him sometimes. And, you know, he's so passionate about this show. So it was, it was cool to see him, at, uh, you know, in a different light. Oh. Alright, you did terrible. <laughs> you want to add anything? I mean, truth, I just want to put this vision in everybody's mind. Obviously, you guys just watched the first episode. There is a scene where we're in the club and we're dancing and having a really great, great time. And uh, there's, there's a moment, I don't know if you guys remember it, where my eyes are closed and I'm just like feeling myself to music. I just want everyone to envision Joe Pekaski doing that because that's what he told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and he came in episode seven and did that times a thousand and it just made it, the experience so much more fun and we're so grateful to have you and I can't wait for everybody to see episode seven because you crushed it. You're a phenomenal director and writer and we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you on April 4th in your, any form of visual television, phone, computer thing that you use in order to watch the show. Uh, please get home safely or stick around because Marvel's going to be back with some Legion right after that.